Oh, good afternoon. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello, Alan. How are you? Fine, come in. House has changed since she was here last. Yeah, I can see that, yes. Yeah, it's all different though. The floors are new, there's new, new solid oak floors. And all the bedrooms have been done. And all the ceilings have been changed. So the past that last another 50 years, we hope. But, um, so we, the house is but done how we want it now. Um, we have a new bathroom we've just completed. Which is, um, originally this would have been two rooms. The one side, you have one side of a toilet and the other side a bath. We took them, took that out because for the wife we decided what is better. So we just used the shower and the toilet, so just one big room. And um, many of the houses longer haven't changed the rooms like we have, but we just happen to want something different. But the, the, some of the houses have got disabled, disabled showers in. Um, this is the, one of the other rooms. Messy at the minute, but it's a teddy bear room. My wife keeps all the teddy bears. But, um, Are you collecting teddy bears? Or? The wife does, yeah, there's 250 in here. Uh, she's got many stifes and all sorts, Dean's, uh, Merry Thoughts. There's a mixture of all sorts. But, um, yes, bears everywhere. It's more messy office. This originally would have been the third little bedroom. But, um, Keeps my collection of books, I collect uh, cookery books for my sins. Living room, um, it's all changed to what it was originally. Um, Hello Nina. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> Again. <laughs> Did the cats will speak to you? No, they're asleep. Cats are asleep. The kitchen, we changed the kitchen because before the old kitchens used to have two cupboards that were part of it and then um, a little work surface but we changed all that so we, all our stuff goes in the cupboard so you've got the height and you have to hide all the, the, the things away in the cupboard so you can't see them but um, we put a bit of a conservatory on the back because um, in the summer it's, it's nice to sit out here with the cats like get out here and being we both retired now, we can, can sit outside when we like. When they were built in the 40s and 50s, there was always plenty of land, but now they build houses and you have nothing, you know, you might only have a small courtyard or whatever. Plenty of trees down there, plenty of roses. We have an apple tree and a pear tree and plum, cherry and a fig tree in the garden with gooseberries and strawberries, so we've got a little patch of those. And we're going to have a little raised garden down the bottom pretty shortly. You get a chance. These were built in the 1950-1951. Um, a lot of them for um, people who've been in the war, no houses left, and they just put 30 houses in no time because they were all prefabricated. It didn't take each one took a week to do build two, you know, one two sections together. But um, originally they were called beer lights and they were built in Gloucester and they were built from old fighter planes that had been downed and all the metal had been melted down and they remade all the outside shell and um, that's where it started off. There are more of these on, on Woomera Rocket Range in Australia and there's a few dotted around the UK but these I think were the only prefabs that were built with no time span because a lot of prefabs are 10 years or 5 years or whatever but these have got no time span and 60 years later they're still here. Um, most houses prefabs or any council houses in the UK have big gardens. All the, all the gardens are very big, so and if you look after them, it's fine. But um, it took us a long time to get it right, but now it's it's perfect now, it's what we want. We've got a greenhouse and um, got a shed. It's um, plenty of room for us, plenty of room for parties if you want parties. And then when we get some sunshine next, I've got the hammock. That's uh, the bow there, isn't it? Which is like a ship. It's where the hammock hangs. But uh, we haven't had no sunshine for ages and ages, so we don't, we don't. don't think it's, there's a lot of work in here. It's a lot of weeding and cutting and stuff, and we're getting old. <laughs> so, Alan, you are the mayor of Redditch now? Yes, yes, for my sins. 
um, on May from last May uh, 20, 2000, 2012 this year until next May for one year. Uh, <clears throat> but um, yeah, I'd recommend anybody living a prefab to see. I think there's so much you can do with them. They're very really easy to look after. Um, Ten years ago, when I first uh, came and met you, okay. you were fighting to uh, to save them. So yeah, what? we was um, right just 2002, roughly 2001. Um, we've been in the house just over a year. They decided to want to pull them down because they wanted to build on the land. But this actually is built. It's built on a floodplain. We got a floodplain there, which stopped it. But also, we we fought. We got money. Eventually, we got money off the council. They gave us seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds to spend on thirty or twenty-six houses along here. So they've all been re refurbished, new walls, outside new roofs, and now they are what you see. I mean, they they haven't changed. They look the same as they did ten years ago. Um, I've added a bit on the back. Do you do you think that all your fight to save the prefabs helped you become a, a councillor and a mayor? It did because um, people got me to the front. I didn't do it for that reason. I was just wanted to save my house and other people's houses. But then after I'd been we'd saved the houses, I was approached. Would I be interested in getting involved with the local uh, Labour Party, which I, I was. I said, yeah, I've always been a Labour uh, person all my life, so I did. And this year I was asked if I'd be interested in being a mayor. And, yep, it's a big honour like for me and my wife. And we, we try and do as much as we can. I mean, this year alone we've done 90 engagements uh, since May and it's been very busy. But um, it'll get busier over the Christmas. And this, has been, this year has been the Jubilee year. So we, lots of Jubilee parties. Actually managed to have lunch with the Queen. And then the next day I went to a chip shop. So you go from seeing the Queen to doing a chip shop the next day. So, you know, it just happens. But it's all part of the job, really.